Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day and a fantastic week. Uh, today we are making a pizza. The first thing that we want to do is melt jaggery in some water. Now don't take a lot of water, just take a little bit of water because you can always add water when you mix the dough. Once the jaggery dissolves, make sure that it's lukewarm and that the water is not hot because if the water is hot, the yeast is going to die. And here I'm using instant yeast. This is also dry yeast. So dry yeast is again two types. One is instant yeast and the other one is like the normal yeast. So the normal yeast needs proofing. The instant one does not. Proofing is basically adding yeast to hot water, I mean lukewarm water and making sure that it just comes to life because you want it to come to life if you want your dough to puff up. Instant yeast does not need that process, but I'm going to do that anyway. But if you're using dry yeast, which is like uh, hard balls, then you definitely have to do proofing. To this water, add a couple of ladles of wheat flour. I'm using whole wheat flour. You can also use all-purpose flour. But personally, I have found that it tastes the pizza tastes much better with whole wheat flour. And then mix it up. Don't knead it a lot, just mix it. And one thing that you have to remember is this stuff is going to be a little bit sticky. And once done, I'm adding one teaspoon of ghee to this and then giving it another mix so that whatever is sticking to the edges of the pan and to the fingers, it's all gonna come off and become a fine ball of dough. Next, you want to grease the container with a little bit of ghee or oil so that when this actually puffs up, it doesn't get stuck. Once done, once the greasing is done, just cover this bowl with a clean turkey cloth or a clean cotton cloth and leave it for at least one or even two hours. If it's a hot summer month, then one hour is more than enough. In the meanwhile, we can cut our vegetables and saute them. Here I'm actually making two pieces. One is a capsicum and paneer pizza and the other one is an onion, tomato and paneer pizza. Yes, you heard me, paneer's common. Make sure that you don't overcook them. Just saute them for about 10 minutes on low flame because remember guys, this is also going to get baked at like 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. So don't overcook them at all. In the meanwhile, I'm also going to cut the tomatoes and the onions for the second pizza. Let me also grab a nice slab of paneer and cut it into a million pieces. Let's take the first batch of vegetables off the stuff and put the second batch on. And actually here I want to mention one thing. Usually when you're uh, sorting vegetables of different types, in this case it's onions and tomatoes, you can do it in two different batches but I didn't have the patience so I did it at the same time. Again, only saute them on low flame for about 10 minutes, not more than that because they're gonna get baked. The next thing that you want to do is smear the paneer cubes with either tomato sauce or if you have a sweet tooth tomato ketchup or even barbecue sauce, ginger chutney, really any liquid seasoning of your choice. Then grease your pizza pans with about 2 teaspoons of ghee or oil. And I actually forgot to press record when I disturbed the dove this time. These are pictures from the last time. I just put them in here so you can see the difference between before and after how it puffs up. And I added a little bit of salt to this dove and then gave it a mix again. And then comes the easy part. Divide the dove into two pieces and spread it on the pizza pans. Next, take a fork and make holes all over the pizza base, wherever you're gonna put the toppings. So this is actually called docking and this helps um, whatever steam forms, it helps it escape 
otherwise if it, if the steam doesn't escape there are going to be air bubbles over the piece of base so that is why we make holes in the base so that whatever steam is formed it gets a passage to escape the next thing that you want to do is pop this base in the oven at 150 degrees for about 5 minutes and it's not preheated if it's preheated make sure it's like for 2 to 3 minutes if you don't do this it's not a problem at all however when you apply the the toppings and even the sauce or ketchup on this or any other barbecue sauce anything so if you apply that and then put on the toppings and then pop it in the oven directly without baking the base a little bit first is once the pizza is done it forms a thin watery layer between the toppings and the base it doesn't really change the taste it's more like it's a, it's a thin watery layer and it doesn't feel so good that is why bake the base for about 5 minutes at 150 and then pop it out then apply sauce or barbecue sauce or ginger chutney or anything of your choice or ketchup and then put on your toppings then pop it back in the oven and this time at 200 degrees bake it for 7 minutes after 7 minutes yank it out and then add cheese the reason we are not adding cheese before itself while we are adding the vegetables is that for cheese we just need it to melt but for the paneer pieces and the vegetables we want them to bake so in the second step add cheese and then put it back in for another 5 minutes and if you add there's nothing wrong if you add cheese before itself too because there are some times when the cheese gets overdone and once it melts it turns into a golden color it turns crisp and it and it doesn't stay cheesy it it gets crispy so you don't want that which is why you don't add cheese before itself put it back in the oven for 5 minutes at 200 degrees and at this point you just want the cheese to melt and the final product the mouth watering final product is this and in the end you can sprinkle some oregano or any herbs of your choice to make it even more better you can also add chili flakes you know the typical pizza seasoning stuff And this is the other pizza which is onion and tomato and this is the first pizza which is capsicum paneer. So I hope you found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day ahead. Peace.